MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this matrix. So first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, being high vibrational. Here at MGT, we don't stop, bro. Yo, so in this video, I'm going to talk about being recharged on retention. All right, so you're going to start to have these moments of where you feel, oh, damn, I'm a little tired. Let me take a little power nap, bitch. By the time you wake up again, my nigga, you will be fully recharged, okay? So in other words, when, when you retain your energy, your recovery time speeds up exponentially. You know what I'm saying? Like, it happens at a at a higher scale, bro, at a higher frequency, my nigga, because you have so much more to work with now. Recharge. Now, I'm going to let you know, bro, you are... If you've been retaining your energy, especially for like, you know, 60, 80, 90 days, or even if you're on day 10, day 20, day 40, bro, you are putting yourself in the top 1% of males right now, okay? You are putting yourself ahead. Even if you were behind in life, you will cover so much ground when you start to retain your energy. It's that simple, bro. You will cover so much ground, bro, because you are tapped into the infinite consciousness. You know what I'm saying? The infinite, the, it's a field of consciousness. It's a field of ideas, bro. Literally. I wish sometimes we can, we can like start to see different thought forms, like just floating around in the fucking, in the room and shit, just to, just to let us know. Cause you know what I'm saying? Seeing is believing, but just to let us know how, like how real this shit is, my nigga. Meditating, when when people meditate, like me, I'm not like, when I meditate, I don't typically meditate like how everybody else meditates. I meditate, I listen to my body because, and, and, and mind you, I can listen to my body now because I have cultivated energy. Sometimes it's not good to listen to your body, my nigga, because if you're just led by, oh, I'm hungry, I'm horny, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, you become a slave to the body. But what happens is when you cultivate your energy, you're operating from your the higher points of your of your being of your of your body. So what happens is your body has a better sense of direction divinely out the gate, off the rip. You get what I'm saying? So as far as as far as like operating in in, a, in the matrix, bro. If if niggas is like retaining their energy, bro, it it separates them and it puts them. At, on a platform where you literally get to create a new world, a new reality. You feel me? You can make a, a damn new race of people, my nigga. Shit, I don't know what color you is. Shit, you could be, I don't know what you is. Nigga, you could be an extraterrestrial. Shout out to you, bro. Welcome to Earth, my nigga. You feel me? Yeah, this shit's been corrupted a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are wasting their sexual energy, constantly using it, spreading their seed all over the place, constantly making babies and creating hellish situations. Like, he sees, like, People sometimes don't realize the ramifications of their actions. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you understand how, what, where you play a part as far as like you as a soul is in this, in this, in the greater, uh, for the greater good, bro, or just like in all existence where people live, my nigga, like, bro, you affect everybody, whether you know it or not, whether you know it or not, you affect everybody. And the fact that one that cannot control their sexual energy sometimes becomes disruptive. Disruptive um, in the sense of that's how you have like unpleasant situations that happen, bro. And I don't even want to get into that shit, but like you have some of the most egregious crimes are sexually, bro. Sometimes a motherfucker would do some shit and then do some other shit and they'll just be like, bro, like, bro, you already did this. Why you got to take it to the next level? Like, you know what I'm saying? But see, you can't really question shit because people are, most people are um, operating in their lower chakras. But shout out to the extraterrestrials out there, dog. I fuck with y'all. But on a deeper level, though, on some serious shit, though, this is why we should retain our energy, bro. This is why we should do it, bro. We should do it because it'll, it'll put ourselves in the top 1% of the population and we're actually going to have a lot more fun than everybody else. People are going to be stuck and trapped and enslaved by the things that they are, that they indulge in every single day. Sometimes it's good to take a fucking break. What's wrong with taking a goddamn break? You know, when you take a break, it's like, why, 
when you go to work and you're working an eight hour, or 10 hour, or 12 hour shift, why do you think employee employers want you to take a break? They need your brain to operate at a high, at a, at a working level, at least not a high level. Cause once you start thinking for yourself, they can lose you. So they don't want you working. They, they give you 30 minutes, nigga. They don't give you like four hours and shit. If they gave you four hours, niggas would be entrepreneurs out here. If, if the job, if a typical job was like, nigga, you can take a break for four hours, my nigga. Niggas is going to start their own YouTube channels. I know I am. And niggas is going to get rich. And then niggas are going to leave. So, but they give you 30 minutes just for you to kind of, or even an hour, just for you to, you know, get away for a second and then come back and be like, you know, I feel remo remotivated. You feel me? Or I feel, I feel like I could do this better now. So I don't understand why people, some people find it hard to take a break from some of the things that they do. Like, bro, are you that addicted? Are you that um, enslaved by that action? That, that shit has that much more power over you? You feel me? Imagine, bro, me at the beginning of this year, bro, I was, I was so in my lower chakra, bro. I was just like the example I was talking about. Nigga, I was a slave and I knew it. I was a slave and I knew it. I was like, man, fuck this shit. Like, I know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I feel depressed, but I want to I wanna have that two-second feeling again of busting a fucking nut. Two seconds, ten seconds. And it sometimes, you know what I'm saying, the, the foreplay and all the other extra shit, you know, I be, I be trying to finesse and, and, and try to make it stretch. I, I be trying to do so much, but then when I nut, it's like, damn. Now I got to get my life together. You feel me? Every time I know every guy that has been through that shit when they've been watching porn, they be like, boom, busting up. Be like, man, I gotta get my life together, man. Turn this nasty shit the fuck off. I don't want to see this. Ugh, y'all nasty. You start getting all judgmental and shit. Like, nigga, and, and it's so funny because it's like post nut uh, clarity. You start to think a little bit uh, clearer. And it's so funny. It's funny because it's like, oh, well, that's why we should bust a nut. We should bust a nut so we can feel relieved and this and that. Bro, you feel relieved for the second, for that moment, because, like, this is what we're conditioned to do. But you start to really realize, nigga, what the fuck just happened? Like, what what really just went down? Why do I feel... I just got some pussy, but why do I feel like shit? You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, bro, this... I'm not saying every time you release, you're going to feel this way, but... You'll know what the fuck is up. If you if you are in tune with yourself and you love your girl and you just releasing all over the place and ceiling this shit, the walls, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That's your that's your life force energy. You feel me? Shout out to y'all. But like if that's what you want to do, my nigga, I can't stop you from doing that. But I feel like you're still at a level of harmony. You're vibrating so high with another being. Um as far as like uh Mother Nature intended. My nigga, no love, no loss. My nigga, you are you couldn't are, are you still cultivating your energy? Now, if you busting nuts and shit all over the place every night, that's a different story. You're gonna feel drained. You feel me? But like, again, this is the type of lifestyle, bro. Just to implement, as far as especially if you, if you have like a problem with you know trying to control your energy and shit, just implement it. Just you know what I'm saying. Even if it's a month, just do that shit for a month, and you'll be surprised. Like, okay, shit, one month I'm retained. The next month. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm just whatever. The, the next month, I'm gonna retain again. Something you have to start something because you already have a natural pattern that you live by anyway. You know what I'm saying? Before, like when you get off of this video, you're gonna go to your natural pattern and do what you naturally do. Be aware of your pattern. You feel me? Sometimes if you are predictable, super predict, pr predictable, that that kind of kills attraction. You know what I'm saying? You only want to be predictable with yourself as far as like uh, making good habits or doing doing something that's going to help you like in the long run type shit. You feel me? But that's just something to think about as far as like just this retention shit goes. You feel me? I want to keep this video too long. Shout out to anybody who stayed to the end of this video. I know I was like all over the place with this shit, but it's real simple, dog. It's all about just knowing what you want and um, just being able to... Uh, just give this shit a shot, bro. Take 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 a break, my nigga. Re revitalize your mind. Here at MGT, that's why I drop videos daily, my nigga. Like I don't stop. But other than that, it's me, boy. When you start, I'm definitely catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like, share, comment down below, and we catch you guys. Peace. And we're.